All right, guys, I have a challenge lock for you. This is Daz Evers, number 81. Key is mummified. So it's uh, the Schley Keyway, the SE Keyway, the SCE, I think. But it's um, the arrow uh, key and knob cylinder. Hey, you can see me right there. <laughs> uh, I just opened it for the first time and while I'm feeling lucky, I'm going to try to record it for you. My goal with this video is to have it shorter than 20 minutes like my last one for those, if any of you that actually watched the whole thing. Alright, um, I'm going to put the 50 thousandths uh, tension wrench from the Longhorn tension wrench set right there so that way I can kind of leverage off of it. And I'm going to use another one of the West Coast picks, um, homemade ones that he made from feeler gauge. I don't know the thickness once again, but it's pretty thin. I think it's 15 or something. This one has a little bit less rise than the one I used in the last video, but beautiful work either way. Okay. Daz ever. Let's see what we have. Okay. Click there. little click there let's see. okay just dropped into a f false set getting counter on two you should be able to see that yeah you see that there we go. So gently set that one. Okay. Just set two. We still have our false set. Getting more counter. Okay, set that one. I may have overset that. I'm going to let off one click. Okay. Drop back into our false set. Also, I think that was the tension wrench. Let's remove that. I'm oversetting these. I'm trying to be very light, but it's just a little bit too much. Man. There we go. Okay. I should be close now. I was getting a little bit of counter rotation, but I didn't feel like I was quite on the pin, so I'm going to use the South, uh, not South Third, uh, Dangerfield Praxis and 15 thousandths. Um, I really like these picks by West Coast Picks, but they're a little bit rounded at the end, and this one's more sharp, so that should help me with my pin placement. Should being the keyword. <clears throat> May not have enough reach. Switch to a Daz Evers hook. Fifteen thousandths. Okay. 
And I feel like I'm getting counter rotation from a few of them, so I don't know what that means. I might have overset something, and I'm in an overset trap. Okay, I'm just gonna have to try it. I don't know guys, I feel like I'm really close, but I'm hung up on this last pin. There we go, okay. So I had to manually counter rotate it just a hair. Alright, I'm glad I could get that open. Yeah, this should be much shorter than my last video. <laughs> Okay, for this one, I'm going to use the blue folding and pinning tray with my logo that, come on, that Trekmaster 30 generously made for me. I just think, I think that is just awesome. I love this community. Okay, remove the circlip. Should be one of the ones that's nice and easy. Should be. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it up. We do have a key. It is mummy, but I'm sure it works. Let's see. Come on. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't have said it should be easy. I think it hurt me. Come on. I always love the videos where it takes longer to remove the C-clip than it takes to open a lock. <laughs> Whoop. That'll work. I... Okay, I was gonna say, I'll have to find that later, but it's right here. Okay. Let's unmummy the key. Like electrical tape. He really wanted to make sure that I wasn't cheating. <laughs> okay, well I've almost unmummied the key in the process. I've mummied my finger because that's the quickest way. All right. Excuse me while I unwrap myself. So here's our key. That's pretty nice. Um, no modifi- oh, sorry. No modification, so... This is the original key. 931595... Yep. I'm pretty sure these are one of the key and knob cylinders that, that Bears back sent him. Hang it up a little bit, but... Not too bad. That just means there's something exciting in here, I'm sure. Use a shim. Okay. Nothing weird yet. So they all had to be picked, but one in five only had to be picked a hair. You see that? So those ones are probably really easy to overset. And I can already see that two and three and six have threading. Looks like four is undercut. We'll find out more in a second. One normal. Two normal. Three is also normal. Oop. Oh. 
or normal. Private fixed are all normal, so no modifications to the key pins. This does not actually matter, but I like to have things the right way, so I'm going to waste your guys' time and orient these right. Okay. So yeah, threading in 2, 3, and 6, countermilling in 4. I think that was the one that we were hung up on that I had to do the, the manual counter rotation on. That would make the most sense. The front is this one. Okay. Sometimes if not marked, I kind of forget which one is the front, so um, I always use the same side to remove the core, that way I know whichever one has this slot, that's the front of the lock, and this side is the the back of the lock, excuse me. Alright, number, oh, shim. Number one shim. Two is a standard driver, which, because I said two, I meant one which number one was super long two looks like a commercial spool yeah I'd say that's commercial so far the springs are the same there we go, that's that's what I'd like to see Beautiful work. Same spring. Let's check the other side. Look how narrow that waist is. Ooh, that is beautiful work. Daz is an artist. You don't, ooh, look at that one. It's one of these lighter springs, I want to say. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, that is a very strong spring. Five is also uh, at the, the shallowest cut on the key, so the longest uh, key pin. So no modifications to that one either because why do more work than you have to and then number four the one that I'm pretty sure we were held up on at the end I could grab it look at that sharp lip that is beautiful work that is so sharp. Wow. Yeah, it's no wonder that I got hung up on that that ridge he made. And I'm assuming the spring's the same. Okay. So all the springs were the same except number six, which was from a lighter. Uh no modifications that I can see. Alright, just really quickly show you what Daz put in this lock. So, one and five. Oh, I said the, the shallowest cut, I meant the deepest. Were these super deep ones, so the driver pins weren't modified at all. Two is a commercial spool, and that was corresponding with serrations. Three is this beautiful serrated. Look at that. So you would get false sets from that as well as some crunching. And uh, that chamber was serrated as well. Four is this beautiful just work of art. Look at that. Which would snag on the counter milling that was in four. Five is normal, like I already said. Six is this beautiful serrated. 
All right, guys, that was number 81 from Daz Evers. If you haven't checked out his channel, you are missing out. I'll put a link in the description. You should check him out. He is amazing. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below. Um, I don't know how this is already a 15-minute video. I need to apparently take locks apart quicker. So, <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching.